good morning everyone today we are going to deal with one of the important topics and one of the interesting topics the name of the topic is blog writing i'm dr sripad joshi you're welcome in this uh, video first of all we'll talk about what is blog writing a blog short for we blog is a frequently updated web page used for personal commentary or business content blogs are often interactive and include sections at the bottom of individual blog posts where readers can leave comments as well most are written in a conversational style when we talk about a blog most of the blogs are written in a conversational style to reflect the voice and personal views of the blogger some businesses use blogs to connect with target audiences and sell products as well to move further about more information about blog writing a blog is usually devoted to a subject of interest to a target audience such as fashion politics or information technology blogs can be thought of as providing ongoing commentary on a theme blogs are intended to engage with the community interested in a topic after the personality or products of the blogger or sponsoring business bloggers often pick unique domain names that reflect the topic at hand such as not another cooking show everyone knows that not another cooking show is a food blog bloggers control their content and don't have to rely on other outlets to publish their views and connect with an audience monetization strategies let bloggers make money from their writing and sometimes build entire careers i think this is one of the major benefits of the blog writing when blogs first emerged around 1994 people used them mainly to share their personal lives including their experiences and interests now blogs have become an essential online marketing strategy for businesses and one of the most profitable career choices for an individuals when we talk about personal lives or personal uh, experiences writing in the blogs gone are the days when we used to write diaries secretively everyone must be know must be knowing an a frank's uh, diary now uh, it's on an open platform people share their views and experiences and people can read them now there is no secrecy in in that the interface of blogs has changed significantly over time bloggers can now integrate various widgets and plugins into their platform such as a social media feed a contact form or an author's profile the major problem arises most of the time people do not know how to write a good blog i have jotted down some points on the slide which i can read and through that you will come to know how to write a good blog first important thing is that choose the right blog topic the topic that interests you that appeals you a topic that you have an information about that you have something to tell to the people conduct effective keyword research for such such topic then structure your blog post how it should be look like what has to be the beginning what has to be the content middle of the blog and what has to be the end structure your blog post then write engaging and informative blog content content is very much important because people are going to read your content and that has to that has to be authentic that has to be informative incorporating seo best practices search engine optimization for the reach look reach uh, for the larger reach uh, that is also very much important then using visuals effectively your blog should be or your post should be attractive and for that ample use of visuals and effective use of visuals wherever it is necessary that is very much important then craft a compelling headline because headline is a it, it should be very catchy because once people read headline then they decide whether to go for blog post or not and that's why headline should be very catchy and one of the important things while reading a blog is that you need to edit and proofread your posts because it's a open platform people are going to read your post and if there are grammatical errors if uh, there are errors in the content all sorts of if there is you know lack of cohesion and coherence people will lose their interest in reading your post and that's why editing and proofreading your content should be flawless that is also very much important thing then promotion of your blog post is also very much important you have number of avenues available you can share a link of your blog post on a social media as on insta on twitter even on in, even on whatsapp even on facebook and through that you can reach to the number of audience these days we have a paid uh, promotions as well then measuring success and performance you have on uh, in your profile um, there is a 
uh, tabular, uh, uh, there is a tab where you can measure success and performance. While measuring the success, you get to know how many people read your blogs, how many reach your posts, and even country-wise also, gender-wise also, you get all the statistical data. I think that is one of the important aspects of writing a blog, and that through that, you come to know your efforts, whether it is counted or not. Let us move further with uh, types of blogs. Uh, there are a number of types of blogs, very important and major uh, form of a blog is in a personal blog. This type of blog usually works like an online diary where the blogger shares their opinions, often not aiming to reach a target audience or sell an item. Personal blogs can discuss various subjects from family events, even self-reflection to work projects and so on. Then second type of blog is in a niche blog. It provides information on a particular topic, usually related to the blogger's passions, skills and knowledge. Examples of this blog type include book blogs, food blogs, even lifestyle blogs as well. Third types of blog is you know multimedia blog. It uses a blog format but publishes multimedia content like videos and podcasts instead of writing posts or written posts. It also usually includes the video or podcast summary, table of contents and essential quotes. Fourth form of blog or fourth type of blog is in you know, a news blog. Content on this blog focuses on the latest happenings and new releases in a specific industry. Unlike other blogs, news blogs typically do not usually include opinions or personal content, but the news uh, is shared on such, uh, such blogs. Company or business blog is another form, another type of blog. Its primary purpose is publishing content relevant to a company's industry or updating the target market regarding any changes within its business. It may be a section on a company, website or an independent site. Another type of blog is affiliate blog, a blog based on affiliate marketing. The practice of promoting a third party's products and services come under affiliate blog. Affiliate blog owners will receive a commission or a, he has a monetary gain when someone purchases from their cu custom links. Typical articles on this blog include product reviews and best of listicles. Last form of or last type of blog is in a reverse blog. It is also known as group blogs, multimedia, I'm sorry, multiple authors create blog posts on related topics and the blog owner is the one who proofreads and posts content. Some blogs focus on a specific category, but it is also possible for a blog to combine several types. For example, Kathleen De Silva's personal blog that contains posts with affiliate links and multimedia content. Now the question arises, what makes a great blog? Do we have a recipe for that? I have jotted down four points which will help you to create a great blog. First, there has to have a high quality blog content. The the content is very much important for the post for the blog it should be informative it should be authentic it should be resourceful and that's why high quality blog content will be read by people will be appreciated by people second your headline should be inviting catchy headline interesting headlines will catch the attention of the audience and they will go for reading your post and that's why inviting headlines is very much important aspects of creating a great blog. Then third one is you know, regularly updated content. You should be regular enough in posting your posts uh, on the blog. If you are not regular, then you will, of course, uh, there will be no more, re more reach to the audience. Your post will not reach to mo more, much and more audience. And that's why regularly updating the content is also very much important. Then smooth user experience is also very much important. Uh, user should find it very easy to track your post, read your post and go to your blog. Now what is a blog used for? What is the benefit of it and why, why it is used? It is used to educate others and build online presence. For example, David Winner is an author of one of the longest running blogs, Scripting News, publishes essays on software development, technology trends and even daily life on his personal web pages. So in a way he educates people and he has his own online presence on that. On the other hand, Natasha Krubuchuk shares recipes and tutorials on using specific kitchen tools on her food blog, Natasha's Kitchen. Now this famous blog, her blog is go-to resource for recipes including holiday and vegetarian options. 
another use of the blog is to help a business with brand awareness many organizations and even businesses use blogs as part of their content marketing strategies to boost brand awareness and increase conversations or even conversions as well a business's blog content usually focuses on industry related information that may interest its target market often a team of writers run the blog instead of a single admin third benefit or third use of a blog is to promote programs and attract visitors for instance many businesses create blogs to promote their programs in the hope of attracting more visitors and leads we see this often with educational institutions where they try to attract more students to enroll in their programs UCLA's Green Blog is an excellent example of this practice. It tells the stories of students from different backgrounds and majors and shows how life is on campus including events and students organization. So people who visit their blogs are compelled to enroll and join such programs. Now one of the important slides I have inculcated uh, in this blog is uh, demo of creating a blog. One should know how to create a blog because this was all the theoretical part and I wanted to uh, add this slide which will help students to understand exactly how to create a blog many lack in that so here is a demo of creating a blog I have just jotted down the points first one you will have to go to the website https uh, colon double slash wordpress dot com slash now if you want to create a blog on the wordpress then you will have to go to this website then at the top of this website there is a key of products click on that and then select fourth option and that the fourth option is create a blog after clicking on that tab you will have to click on start a blog that option comes there after clicking on start a blog you will have to create an account on wordpress by using your google credentials or email account credentials after that you need to give title to your blogs and furnish the information that is asked during that process registration process then you are all set to write your post on your blog give it a try it's simple and free that is also very much important thing to know I have given a link of my blog of course uh, you can jot it down this blog link and uh, you can paste this address on a Google and you can uh, get a look of my blog how it is designed and how I often post my poems and articles and news about my songs and all on my blog thank you so much i hope it was informative and you got to know what what is the blog and what are the types of the blog how blog benefits us our online presence is uh, very much needed and important uh, in these days because we are in the 21st century and gone are the days we had you know traditional tools to reach to the people if you have a business you need an online presence if you are a writer if you want to comment your personal things on the social media you need an online presence blog is one of the major tools for that i hope everyone create an account on uh, blog and on for the for that wordpress is you know good options you have another as well but i prefer wordpress you can create an account and you can start posting your blogs i hope you will do that good day thank you